Hello and welcome to my 103rd VBA 2010 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how you can reference your add-ins functions from within other modules in your VBA code. Uh, it's slightly different to how you would do it normally. Um, so first of all, let's just create ourselves a add-in. So uh, I'm just going to insert a new module uh, and I'm going to create a public function hello uh, and it's not going to have any parameters uh, and then it's just going to say message box hello world uh, and then I'm also going to create one that says hello personal uh, and it's just going to take a um, a name as a string. Uh, so just to show you how we can pass parameters as well, and then it's going to say, "Hello, username." So we've got two functions now that are going to be usable in our code, uh, and then. What I want to do is just compile the project uh, and then save it as an add-in. So save as, and then we want to save it as an add-in. Uh, and I want to save it in my examples folder. Uh, I'm going to save it as, Hello, add-in. Press save. Uh, and then I'm going to save the XLSM file as well. And then I'm going to close it down. Um, so now if we create a new workbook, uh, and we save this as well, Let's save it in my examples as a macro enabled workbook. And I'm going to save it as tutorial 103 copy to or Excel, XLSM file. Uh, and then let's just rename that one to add in file xlsm file and let's press save uh, and then that will then add our add-in so browse select our add-in so hello add-in and then press ok and we've got our add-in in uh, and so now when we go into our editor, uh, in our new uh, in our new file, we've got just nothing in there at the moment because it's just blank. Uh, and then in our module over here, we've got our functions that we're going to use. So in here, let's say in sheet one, I just want to call one of them functions. So let's do sub call, uh, sub call my functions. Uh, um, the first of all, I'm going to call the hello world one. So let's do call. And normally you just type the hello because that's what the function is. Uh, but what you'll notice is that if I press play, uh, and it's going to say it's not defined. And uh, it's because it can't actually see the ones in here, despite the fact that they're public. So what we need to do uh, is instead of using the call, we're going to use application dot run. Uh, and then we'll pass it hello underscore uh, added dot xlam and then when we press play uh, oh no press exclamation mark and then the name of our procedure and then we press play uh, and it's going to run our hello world um, so that's how you run a procedure in an added uh, you just instead of call use application.run 
uh, and you can also pass parameters across. So let's do it in our other one. So application dot run, and then hello add-in dot xlam exclamation mark hello and what do I call it? Let's just check hello personal. Uh, and then do a comma and then you see you've got all of these different argument parameters that you can pass to application.run so our argument one we just want to be the name so I'm going to put my name which is Matt uh, and so let's press play now it's going to come up with hello world and then hello Matt uh, so that is how you would call a function from a add-in that already exists uh, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you would reference other um, workbooks or worksheets. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.